offshore wind farm Dan Tursk. Substation installation. 90 kilometers off the coast in the German North Sea, Vattenfall and Stadtwerke Munich are building the offshore wind farm Dan Tursk. 80 wind turbines with a total capacity of 288 megawatts will provide up to 400,000 households with green electricity. Due to its location, the Dantusk wind farm needs its own offshore substation in order to transport the electricity back to shore. The substation has been built in the Netherlands and is nearly ready to be taken offshore. We are on a shipyard near Rotterdam where our contract partner, Hollandia Structon, have been fabricating our substation, our offshore substation, in the last two years. What we can see here in the back is that the offshore substation is now completed, fabricated, so that we can ship it offshore. In its finished state, the offshore substation is around 30 meters high and measures 36 by 40 meters. It feels incredible now, after more than five years, to see such a big substation ready. The weight of the substation would force the transport barge downwards during the loading process, but a system of air chambers balances the weight at exactly the right moment, helping the top side to finally reach its position. We, it will be sailing for Don Tusk in the coming days, and it will be installed in the next 10 days um, so that we can actually put it in, into operation. The substation starts its journey through the canal of Rotterdam for a two-day trip to Dan Tusk. The final challenge, the installation, still awaits the team. 70 kilometers offshore of the German island Zylt, wind and waves dictate the daily work. However, the strong wind ensures a high level of green energy production and its constancy keeps the grid system quite stable. Dan Tusk will be Vattenfall's 10th offshore wind farm, reinforcing the company's position as a leading player in offshore wind energy. If you're talking about the Energiewende, the German word for changing the energy world to a more sustainable energy, then the people should be coming out here in Dan Tusk. Here you can feel that there's energy in the air, here you can feel that there's wind, and this is where we can produce energy with a very high availability. The substation primarily consists of two parts. The construction starts with the first part, the foundation, called the jacket. It's set onto the 25 meter deep seabed and fixed into place with around 50 meter long monopiles that are piled deep into the ground. For this job, Vattenfall commissioned one of the most experienced offshore installation crews. The installation of the Vattenfall Dantus offshore wind farm uh, substation it's a, it's, substan it's a substantial installation, but it's nothing that we have uh, not done before in the oil and gas industry. It's nothing that we particularly uh, would be worried about, because we do this for decades, this, uh, this type of installation. Out here, health and safety is taken very seriously. In the offshore environment, we have recognised that there are risks, and the risks come from various areas, such as lifting operations, simultaneous operations and it also includes, which is probably the most important part, the environmental location that we're at. But where there are risks, we eliminate them by assessment and we make the right choices. When the substation's foundation is built, part two of the construction, the so-called top side, will be prepared for installation. The Vattenfall crew is on site at all times to manage and control every single step of this special lifting operation, with three ships supporting the process at the same time. Well, you could say that the top site or the substation is uh, basically the heart of uh, the whole wind farm because it will uh, transform the energy so that it can be transported to shore. As the lifting operation comes to its climax, the crane stands still and the huge work vessel Oleg Strashnov is the only thing moving. The substation will collect the electricity from the 80 Dantusk wind turbines transforming the energy to a higher voltage for transportation to shore with a minimum loss of energy through the use of direct current. With the completion of Dantusk, Vattenfall is following its strategy of growth in the area of renewable energy in order to fulfill its own targets in lowering CO2 emissions.